great monk. I've been searching for answers. What is KW? <laughs> What is Keck W? All right, Cosmo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up BTTV. It sounds like some kind of medical STD, but it's actually an acronym for Better Twitch TV. Have you ever streamed or watched someone stream and saw someone type the word M-O-N-K-A capital S and you would question if they were speaking another language that you didn't understand and you'd wonder if they offer that course on that language on Duolingo. Well, on your end, while you're seeing the words M-O-N-K-A capital S, the person who typed it and everyone else who has the BTTV extension installed is seeing the BTTV extension shows emotes that are not on Twitch or no longer on Twitch. A curated global emote collection extension that is really popular with the Twitch community. But one of the biggest benefits to having BTTV is the ability to add your own emotes to use on your channel without being a Twitch affiliate or partner. Also, if you have the BTTV extension installed, it'll help you decipher weird words like cat jam, peeposad, and monka s into understandable hieroglyphics. You ready to learn, Cosmo? I'm all ears. All right, Cosmo. First, we're going to go ahead and go to betterttv.com. On the front page, it'll give you an option to download the extension for your browser. Since I'm using Opera, it's going to say Opera. So I'm going to go ahead and download for Opera, add to Opera, and then add the extension. Better Twitch TV just recently added YouTube capabilities, so it's just asking you to upgrade your permission. I'm going to go ahead and pin the extension to the top so I know it's there. There we go. Now I know there's going to be people out there who may be concerned about using a third party extension, but this app is commonly used and trusted by the majority of the Twitch community. If it makes you uncomfortable, don't use it, but it's there for you if you need it. Now if you're just a Twitch viewer, Cosmo, all you need is this extension. You'll be able to see those words turn into emotes. You could go ahead and hop off the tutorial bus here, grab yourself a souvenir from the couple of creators gift shop, and take another bus back to Twitchland and enjoy having the extension translate emotes for you. But Cosmo. You're a Twitch streamer, and as a Twitch streamer, you want to be able to add more emotes to help make it more entertaining for your community. Now, the first thing you want to do is log in with your Twitch account. It's going to ask you to authorize your account with Twitch. Go ahead and do that. But since I've already done the process, we're already logged in. Once you're logged in, it's going to take you straight to the dashboard. So if you had any emotes, Cosmo, this is where they're going to show up. Now, as you can see on the left corner right here, it says emotes zero out of 30. With BT TV, you have the ability to add 30 emotes from their curated collection, or you can upload ones yourself. In order to look through the emotes that BTT has, you can go ahead and come up here and click emotes. Now there's four different tabs of emotes. You got top emotes, trending emotes, shared emotes, and global emotes. You can go through this list and add emotes that you think your chatters will enjoy having on your channel. In order to add it to your emote collection, click on the emote. And you're just gonna go ahead and click add to channel. If you go back to dashboard, there you go, Cosmo, you added your first emote. If you decide you don't like this emote, all you have to do is click the emote again and just remove it from your channel. Super easy, right, Cosmo? Yeah, yeah, super easy, but what is Keck W? Hold on, Cosmo, I'll show you later. Now, one of the benefits of being a Twitch affiliated or partnered is to be able to add your own custom emotes. But since you're not affiliated yet, Cosmo, we can add our own custom emotes through BTTV. All you have to do is click the upload emote right here. We can give it a super easy name like Cosmo1. Down here, it says emote codes can be letters and numbers. It must use at least one capital letter and be at least five characters long. Now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna choose a PNG that's 112 pixels by 112 pixels. I have a picture of my dog that I took that I was planning to turn into an emote on my channel. So I'll use his picture as an example. It's already been resized to 112 pixels by 112 pixels and converted into a PNG. I'll show you how to make your own emotes completely free without the use of complicated software a little later, Cosmo. So we're 
we're gonna go ahead and drag that right there. And then over here, it's gonna say approval notes. Now, if you're using an emote someone else made for you, BTTV will want proof of permission that you can use it. If you created the emote yourself like I did in this case, then you can just say something like, I took the picture and edited. Over here, you can decide if you wanna share this emote with other channels, but make sure that you check that this emote complies with the emote guidelines. After that, you're gonna go ahead and upload emote. And there you go. It's already been auto approved. Sometimes it may take a couple days for your custom emote to get approved, but once it's approved, you'll be able to use it. So let's go ahead and go test this out. We'll bring up our chat box up here. First, we're gonna go ahead and test out this emote, see if it works. So we're gonna go ahead and type it in right here. And there we go. Let's go ahead and try our custom emote. That works too. Now the only downside to better Twitch TV extension emotes is that these custom emotes you use will only show up on your channel because it's connected through your BTTV extension. If you tried to use your custom emotes on someone else's channel, it won't show up. All right, Cosmo, you don't have to do this. It's completely up to you. But wouldn't it be helpful if people who came to your channel had a way to see what emotes are available on your channel? Okay. Okay. There's an extension that you can get to set that up. We're going to go ahead and go to the creator dashboard. We're going to head over to extensions. And in the search bar, you're going to go ahead and type emote showcase. Go ahead and hit install. We're going to go ahead and hit the configure button. And over here, it's going to let you decide what you would like to show. Right here has the better TTV emotes section. And another one similar to better TTV emotes is this Franker face Z emotes. If you want me to help you set that up, Cosmo, let me know. But for now, we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. Under my extensions, it's going to show you all the extensions that you have. And we have the emote showcase installed. In order to activate this, go ahead and click activate and set as panel one. Extension is now active. We can see what this looks like on our friend Rice Kitsby Treats channel. She has an emote showcase that shows her viewers what emote she has available for her channel. And I think that covers it. Got any questions, Cosmo? Yeah, just one more question. What is Keck W? <laughs> what is Kick W? <laughs> Look at this guy. Are you okay?